Hello friends. So this is a famous interview question that print the hello world without using semicolon or print any given string but without using any semicolon. Normally what we do is we can print any message or let's say hello world as this way print tab, then our message and then semicolon we can use return zero that is normal. So this is our normal way but the question says you do not have to use this and the output should be same that is hello world should be printed on the screen. So you can pause the video and you can think the answer that what are the possible ways for the solution of this question. So I hope you have got the answers. So let's discuss the solution. So we have some of the ways like we can print the hello world using if second is using while we can also print hello world here using switch there is one another way we can use like hash directives or you can say preprocessor directives so let's see how we can do it so uh, let's discuss how we can print it using if so for example we say main now you know that printf function returns a integer value as we have discussed in the previous videos that printf returns the number of characters that it has printed on the console or the output screen. So if we write printf and then our message, now this printf will return what? It will return h e l l o has 5 characters, world has 5 characters and there is one space that is it will return 11 as the return value that it has printed 11 characters on the screen. So we can actually put a if and then we can enclose it and we can put empty curly braces and then we can close the main. So here printf will return 11 after printing hello world. So the output will be first it will print hello world on the screen and then it will return 11 here. So this whole expression will be replaced by 11. Now if of 11 because 11 is a non-zero value so it will be considered as a true value. So if true that means go inside the body of the if but if has no any other statement so there would be no printing of anything else. So our message is printed and we come inside the body do nothing and then come outside the main function. So that means we have got the our output as hello world. We can also print the same way using while switch and this has character. So let's check all these possible solution in the IDE. So here is our first code that we have used if to print the hello world. So let's see is this giving our desired output. Yes we have got the output as hello world that what we need is that means this program is working correctly. Now let's see how we can do it using while. So as you know printf is returning us 11 and 11 is a true value. Now if I replace this if using while. Now can you guess what is the output? So let's run it. Oh it seems we are getting the output hello world but it is coming infinite number of times and this is not our desired output. We want only once. So why we are getting this? Because printf after printing hello world for the one time it is returning 11. Now while is a loop. While will say while 11 means true. So it will come inside the body and inside the body there is nothing. So what it will do is it will go again into the while loop. Again it will print hello world for the second time and it will say okay I have written 11. So while of 11 is again true. So it will come inside the body and do nothing and again it will go into the while loop and it will print hello world for the third time. So this will go on again and again. That's why we are getting repeatedly hello world many number of times. But we want only once. So what we can do is we want that as soon as the hello world is printed first time then we should come out of this while loop. So I hope you have got the answer that how we can do is yes. We can do it using break statement. So now let's see yes we are getting hello world only once. So here after printing hello world it is saying while of 11 is true it is coming inside the body and 
there is break statement so it will come outside the while loop so hello world was printed only once now there is another variation of this while loop that without using break we can also print the hello world once how so let's remove this again this will not work so what we can do is print up hello world as soon as it is encountered hello world will be printed on the screen okay now after that we want that our program should exit or it should come out the while loop so how we can do is now hello world is printed after that we put not operator and see the output yes see hello world is coming only once so how this answer is coming now print it after printing hello world on the screen it is returning 11 now not of 11 that means not of a true value is a false value so this whole thing will be replaced by zero or false and while of false means come out of the while body do not go inside the while body so we will come outside the while body now the third way is we can use switch statement how we can do is so i just remove this and write switch we have written switch printf hello world now you know that inside switch we can have an expression which should give us an integer value and we know printf is returning an integer value so first see if this will work or not yes hello world is coming only once and this is our desired output so it is working why it is working because again printf is returning 11 and 11 is an integer value and it is a valid argument for switch so switch of 11 that means it will go inside its body and it will check the for the cases so case number 11 is not present and nothing is present so it will simply come out of its body and then it will say return 0 and it will exit the program so our hello world was printed only once successfully okay now there is another way using preprocessor directly how we can do is so actually what we will do is we will use a macro and we will use if also and this is related to our first way of the solution let's see how so what i will do is i will cut this line print f hello world and i will use a macro for this that is has defined and let's say uh, I can use uh, any symbol or any macro. Let's say print. Now here I replaced printf hello world. So as you know, whenever this print symbol will be used on in our program, then this print symbol will be replaced by this expression printf hello world. So let's see. So if I use if, okay. And inside it I need something so if I write print this macro name this symbol name so if of print me during the compilation phase and in the pre-processing phase this print will be replaced by this printf hello world so here it is same as the previous that here printf hello world will be there and it will return 11 11 is a true value so first hello world will be printed then if of 11 is a true it will come inside the body do nothing and come outside the body and exit the program so this is also giving us the desired output let's see yes this is giving us hello world as our desired solution so we have seen four possible ways using if using while switch and the macro all are giving us the correct output so why the interviewer asked this question actually they want to see how you can relate the various concept in a single concept so thanks for watching